everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, back today with another tutorial. And this one we will do the night version, we already did the sky one, so this one's the night tutorial. And this one's a little different, we are going to be using nodes. So, let's get started. First thing we'll do is we'll put it on Eevee, and then we'll come round down to our world settings. And we'll create actually a new world, and we'll call it night. So now we're going to come down to colour, and we'll put this on sky texture. And you'll see it goes uh, something like that, not much happening at the moment. Let's just set the camera up so we can see the sky. And then we're going to go up to shading and just click that on and you'll get something like this. If you zoom out a little bit, you should see if we put this on world now, that we end up with these nodes here. Now we're going to add a fair few nodes, so let's make some room here. So we'll put this one, this one's the main one, this one is actually the main output. So let's drag this over here and we'll put this one relatively close to it and then drag this one over here. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to come to edit, we're going to click on preferences and we're going to go to add on so make sure this box is ticked and then type in node and what you want on is the node wrangler. Just tick that on, click refresh and then close that down. So now we're going to press shift A and we're going to come down to where it says color and you're going to pick mix RGB and you're going to sit that right in there and it should join into the second one here, color one. Just make sure that you drop it over the line that was there just so it fits into place. And now we're going to zoom in a bit and we're going to click on this color here and we're going to go over to hex and we're just going to change this value here so change it to 0 c 0 e 3 a and just press enter and you'll end up with a nice blue color like this and now we're just going to change the fact and we're going to put this down to 0 0.975 so now we're going to press shift a again and we're going to go straight same thing color and this time you're going to pick u hand saturation and you're going to drop that in there and automatically it will put it in place for you Okay, so the U we're going to put on 0 0.525 and for now just put the same values as I'm putting in. Later on you will be able to mess around them to your heart's content and set the, uh, the night sky up exactly as you wish. So turn the saturation down to 0 0.9, so just click this arrow down one. Turn the value down to 0 0.6 and the fact we'll just leave as it is. Now what we'll do is we'll press shift A bring in one more color and this time we'll add in a gamma and just throw that in there. And the next thing we need to do is because we actually came on uh, shading uh, mode, it changed actually um, back to material mode. So let's click that on EV and you will see something actually happening now. So let's put this uh, gamma up to 1.5 and now you can see that we've got a relatively uh, dark environment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this up just a little bit and then I'm going to just move this uh, up with the middle mouse button, press shift A, come to texture, and you're going to bring in a noise texture, and we're just going to put that round about here. So with a noise texture, we're going to set the scale to 156, and we're going to uh, change the details up to 16. Now we're going to bring in a color ramp, so if we press shift A, go down to where it says converter, and you'll see something called color ramp. Just bring that in and put that around about there. So now we're going to plug in the FAC to the FAC of the color ramp and then we're going to zoom in a little bit. Now we're going to change it from linear to cardinal and then we're going to grab this little node here and we're going to pull it up just so it's under the R of the cardinal and then we're going to grab this one, this node here and we're going to pull that one all the way up to it's under the uh, arrow of the RGB, so just under there. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit I'm going to come over to my gamma and I'm going to select it, press shift D and bring that down to here and I'm going to change the uh, gamma um, amount to 1.3 so now we're going to grab the uh, colour and we're going to put that into the colour of the gamma then I'm going to zoom out a little bit, I'm going to grab this mix, so highlight it, shift D and bring it over here just drop it in and you'll end up with something like that and now if you come to this little arrow here that says mix, click on that and you're looking for something that says add. So click this uh, add here and now change the fact to 0.5. And then we're going to pull this color from here and we're going to plug it into the bottom of the add. And you'll see that now you've got something that's appearing to look like some kind of uh, night sky. 
And now if you zoom in and you come to the noise, now this scale is the thing that uh, determines the size of the uh, stars and how clustered they are. So if you turn that to like 230 something, you'll see now they're much more broken up and much more starry looking. And now we're going to zoom out once again and we're going to grab all of these. So if you press the B button, hover over them all like so. And now we're going to press Shift D and we're actually going to bring them down and make a copy of them all. And now we're going to zoom into these bottom nodes and the first thing we're going to change is the mix on here we're going to change the fact to 0.992 and then on the hue and saturation you're going to change the fact down to 0.315 and also just change the hue on here down to zero now moving on to the gamma let's put that to five now let's uh, just move down a bit and we've got our noise here and let's turn this uh, scale down to 4.5 and we're going to change uh, the distortion to 0 0.1 so just click this arrow at 1 uh, the detail we're going to keep exactly the same so what we're going to do on the uh, color ramp is we're going to bring this node down this one's going to stay the same we're also going to leave it on cardinal we're just going to bring this arrow down to halfway between this little arrow here and this R here and now we're going to move across and we're going to come to the gamma and we're going to set this to 4.3 and then we're going to zoom out a little bit and we're going to come to the add and we're going to turn this all the way up to one and now we're going to zoom out a little bit more and we're going to grab the uh, background of this one and just put it next to this one here and we're going to change both the strengths and both of these to 0 0.8 so that's that one change this one 0 0.8 and now we're going to add in one final node shift a and you're going to add in a shader and it's going to be a mix shader and then just throw that in there and now plug this one in and now let's go back to layout and there you go there's your uh, starry sky with uh, clouds in it you can add a moon in here I recommend doing it with uh, a mission um, you could add it with a, a Sun for instance but that's the end of the tutorial and if you do like my tutorials check out the links down below uh, I teach around about 15,000 students at the moment so check out those links and I'll see you on the next one thanks a lot bye bye